Like a fire, but burned so bright I was there and you were night Alright, hello everyone once again Me, Dania Hope you are doing well um, I thought it would be a good thing And I had a very important information That I had asked for some people So I will share it with you So this video is about uh, The estimated expenses uh, That you should keep in your mind Before coming here Expenses um, I have estimated are Under Four dimensions First accommodation Second transportation Third food and the fourth category I choose is uh, others okay for the fourth category uh, it is not compulsory it depends on your own usage and your uh, uh, choice your likes and dislikes okay so okay, first of all accommodation this is one of the most um, expensive thing over here in UAE especially in the Dubai if you move to Sharjah and uh, some other uh, other places in Ajman and uh, Ajman and uh, some of the other places. Accommodation over here in uh, Dubai is very, very expensive. So uh, one need to consider this expense as of a most uh, expensive uh, factor. One person accommodation as per my estimation is from 400 to 1000 AED. Whatever expenses I'm mentioning here are AED based, so uh, you need to convert it into, into your own currency. So one person accommodation starting from the you can easily find. Now again, I'm giving the range because it always depends on your own choice of residence, whether you can share space or whether you want a separate partition because uh, when you are uh, living in a uh, such a country you you try to minimize your accommodation if you are just coming here uh, on the initial basis so uh, people go for such kind of a, a accommodation like sharing like uh, buying a partition there are executive partitions available also so those are also uh, somewhat under thousand but uh, I never come across this but uh, what I have seen is from 400 to 1000 you can get a good accommodation depends on what area you're choosing again uh, accommodation considering a family or if you if I would say family of two person you would uh, you would easily get uh, accommodation for the family like uh, one bedroom from 45,000 to 60,000 this is again an estimate so I would say this is depends on your own choice of area and what size you want what size of a um, what size of a room you want what size of a bedroom or a property you choose uh, depends on your size of a family like thousand and again um, if you go for the one bedroom kitchen in a hole like one BHK uh, can cost you from 55,000 to 85,000 again I would uh, mention here that this is an estimate and depends on the area where you choose to live so let me mention that these uh, two figures that I have told you, these these two estimated that I have told you, is of a few areas that I can mention. For example, Bar Dubai, Manhul, Karama. These are the places which are quite old places and uh, very famous for the residents. So that is why they are less costly. Um, but again, you will you as these are you know like uh, comparatively less costly. You would never be finding uh, too many vacants here all the time. So you, if you are really liking to get um, one of a vacant, you need to be, to look uh, on it uh, very keenly. So uh, moving forward, uh, two of the other areas which I got uh, to know that are feasible to live if you can afford a little bit uh, higher than this. Uh, are Udmeta, uh, where I am living at the moment, and uh, Dubai Healthcare. These are very good uh, family places that you can live with. It's it is very peaceful that I found. Um, though the the groceries and um, uh, it is not, not that happening. Grocery is a little uh, you know it's walkable, but it's a little far. Uh, but comparatively, it's a peaceful area, and uh, it 
could cost you if you go for one BHK. So starting from seventy five thousand, as of now, the property is um, going down and uh, the property cost is uh, declined at this time. So it's seventy five thousand to ninety thousand. Again, depends on the size and the choice of property that you like can cost you. Okay. So this I told you about the family. Yeah, family of two. One person traveling could cost from. 100 to 300 AED. It's, it's again depends on what medium of transportation you are selecting. If you are traveling with car, trust me, it is, it is less expensive. Uh, and it could only cost you from um, 100 to 150 uh, a month. Okay, so every, uh, every classification that I have uh, provided here is per month. So next i can tell you uh, yeah next next i can tell you that family expense of transportation per month could cost you 300 to 480 now again it depends uh, what medium of transportation you're choosing for example if you're choosing metro you're choosing a bus so this one can uh, uh, cost you and let me tell you that taxi is better than metro and uh, buses because uh, uh, it is costing you more and uh, again if you check in check out so it is uh, way more costly than uh, taxi uh, if you just uh, calculate for example if I travel A to B stop and I'm coming back to B to A it will cost me around uh, three to three dirham to go there and three dirham to going back so it's like around six dirham right and if I uh, go by taxi so minimum it costs me 12 dirham so this how you can uh, calculate the, the minimum cost uh, would cost you is 12 dirham so this way you can you know like uh, get a better benefit out of the same cost yeah sense right Acha. so uh, next i was telling you that if you are habitual of uh, using uh, cars that it is going to be less costly to you because car is less expensive over here but again if you choose traveling by car it can uh, increase uh, the depression and uh, the stress of traveling because there are too much um, signal delays a lot of traffic so most of the people don't have uh, parking uh, and never find parking around their malls especially in peak hours so they prefer to park some area some somewhere where for example if they're shopping for three hours so they have to pay for like uh, five dollars to ten dollars per hour so uh, they prefer to find a free um, parking so finding a free parking is also a problem over here if you find a free parking and if it is far away so again you have to take a taxi to come to your location so um, this these things are you know some somehow you get to know and uh, get a habitual off by the passage time so a uh, lot of people um, prefer to travel by uh, public transport and keep their vehicles um, home unless they really want to uh, take them along and if they have the facility to park um, yeah all right so it's azan time over here now hope you can listen all right so All right, so one person food expense is from 600 dirham to 1000 dirham. This is uh, the estimate that I had. And again, it depends on the choice of food that you eat. And the one family could vary from 1500 to 2080. So again, it is uh, an estimate that can vary depending upon your uh, choice of food uh, that you and the consumption also. Mm, consumption also. So. Uh, the other expense category that I have already told you, it's not compulsory, but I have taken it because sometimes and many of the times coming here, if you're traveling, if uh, you are on tourist, uh, on visit or whatever, and if uh, you're resident, you also, um, of course, need to shop clothes, need to shop other stuff. So for clothes and shopping, dining out sometimes, hanging out, if you go for a movie, so these are the other expenses that uh, you can count into. So I could say like you, you should keep 200 to 300 dirham for these all uh, expenses. Um, you can uh, put it on. So as of a total, one person could, if you're coming as of one person, it could cost you 
1300 to 2300 dirham or if you round it off so from 1000 to 2000 dirham and if you are a family of two person uh, sorry yeah if you are a family of two so you can uh, you can estimate that it could cost you 6000 to 10000 a month so as you can it is uh, in AED so you can convert it according to your currency accordingly and uh, these are also once again the estimates according to my own experience and the research that I had um, my own experience also includes some of my friends and uh, other uh, surroundings that I have got to know so yes this is the expense that I feel uh, I would include the schooling uh, expense in my uh, later video because uh, the schooling is uh, entirely a different topic so I would come with the different schooling system for example we have Cambridge uh, as a, fa a famous here we have Indian curriculum here as well in Pakistani curriculum Philippine curriculum Canadian we have Iranian there are so many uh, different education system over here so uh, again depends on uh, uh, what system I'm talking about and what school uh, we can look into so if you really want to know in this uh, video that what a schooling can cost so uh, an average school from um, from Cambridge if I, uh, I could say starting from 1800 to 4080 a month can cost but again as I've told you in depth I will tell you in my other video which I will make uh, specifically for schooling that how we can apply what things are required so um, about the expenses I think I have covered all four dimensions that I have mentioned and I tried to cover as uh, quick and as much I can so yes this is for now like a fire but burn so bright I was there